You walk through an alleyway and it leads to an opening full of tombs. The intense stairs of like, they're like spitting at them. Yeah, they were getting spit on stuff. He was getting like, they're spitting at her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's maybe about 9 p.m. The sun just went down. The streets are alive. There's a boy singing to us as we walk in. And as we get closer to him, we realize he has no eyes. In 2019, I went to India for my very first time and met up with my friends Dakota, Clara and Steffi. I had no idea what I was really getting myself into, but more on that later. This is the first episode of our raw and deep odyssey through India. You could say we had a wide spectrum of unique experiences, from hiking to remote hash villages in the mountains, to hanging out with dwarves and mosques, to smoking chillum with sadhus in the jungle, and even watching dead bodies burn in Varanasi. As you will soon discover, everything is possible in India. When I have some money, I've got ATM card. Good luck, ma'am. Is he crying? Is he crying or laughing? Oh my God, it's <laughs> Sir, excuse me if you don't mind, I want to one selfie with both of you. So this is a protest area yeah, here is, in Delhi? This is like, they allow people to protest, but they just give them this shitty street where no one goes down. And that's what's happening here, is they're doing protests. And the last time I was here, um, there was a guy just sat here in the middle of the road, sitting in a big circle of skulls. Because here, in like rural India, it's very dry and the government doesn't help the farmers. So a lot of the farmers, from a lack of being able to take care of their family or provide or anything or make money, they just kill themselves. So this guy was sat in front of a roll of skulls of like holes in their head and stuff from where they shot themselves. Yeah, it was brutal. So this Bats? Do you want to check it out? Oh, I know. Right from saying. Is that like thousands of the fucking bats? Yeah. Holy shit. That is terrifying, and I'm not even scared of bats. What the fuck? Holy, Holy moly. Hell. What in Jesus' what name is that? that? Jiminy Cricketer, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Place. I feel like you're sitting in the middle of like a ritual like circle. Yeah, right. Should we get out and just go somewhere else? Is he coming back? I don't know. Oh, oh. Come back, someone will nick his doctor. Alright.
Dakota takes us into this mosque in this really dodgy part of Delhi without exactly telling us where we were going. I guess our mate wanted to surprise us. In Delhi, there's a place called uh, Nizamuddin, and this is the Muslim district of, of New Delhi. Well, you have the Hindu side of Delhi where meat is illegal. Then you get to the Muslim side where you see legs and meat just like hanging from uh, <laughs> shops with covered in flies. You know, you don't see any women, it's all men. And so the first, we pull up. Here's me. It's, it's maybe about 9 p.m. The sun just went down. The streets are alive. There's a boy singing to us as we walk in. And as we get closer to him, we realize he has no eyes. And I'm assuming this is what he does for a job. He's begging for money. And at the time, Steffi and Clara weren't exactly covered up. And of course, in Islamic culture, it's frowned upon to show excessive skin. So, when we're walking through these dark alleyways, the amount of death stares and aggressive energy pointed towards our direction it was a bit overwhelming, to say the least. Like those, you know those alleyways in Harry Potter? That's like, what it you is. Know, that's that's totally alley. what it is. That's, that's, alley. that's the only way I could explain it That's to what someone. it's like, right? Because it's like really creepy and of course, all the men are just giving death stares to Clara and Steffi because yeah. they're not covering up. And I noticed that and I was like picking up of their vibe. You're just like in the front, just like completely <laughs> oblivious to the situation. And I wish I was too because it was like, holy shit, man. Like the intense stares of like, they're like spitting at them. Yeah, they were getting spit on. Steffi was getting like, they're spitting at her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full on. And we're walking past the market and there was like this creepy little doll, like this porcelain oh my God, doll I about that the was doll. like dancing. I've got it on video and it's like staring at me. I forgot. Staring and it's deep a white into doll. My soul. A and you're, and you're walking past the streets and it's like dark, raining, rubbish everywhere. Bulls, goblins, dwarves, uh, people with psychotic episodes, yeah. speaking in tongues. Like, Lots of deformities, people Lots with of, no yeah, limbs. Yep, yep. Just people just there on the street, half naked. And you just go past this market. And people are begging for yeah, money yeah, with yeah, their hands out. Everyone wants a piece of you, like, hey, man. And they start yelling at you. walk through an alleyway and it leads to an opening full of tombs and uh, they request for you to take your shoes off out, out of respect for the people that are buried there yeah so yeah, as you're enough. walking down the alleyway you have people screaming shoes give me your shoes 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 like that goblet the bank goblins from yeah like the green gods and wait till you get to the bottom before you take your shoes off so I followed this guy in the whole time these just like we had to walk maybe 50 meters and these people are just screaming Take off your shoes! And they all want the shoes because they ask for a, they, you know, they want a tip for watching your shoes. And so everyone wants you to go to their shop to, to put your shoes there. Now, of course, at the time, we were taken by surprise and unprepared. So when we returned the next time, we were much better prepared and it was all good. We ended up hanging out with the boys and jamming out to some music and having a good time. It was awesome. It just goes to show how perception can drastically change the human experience, even though it's the exact same place. But look at the difference of like how you got treated today. I know. Today. Isn't it unbelievable? I mean, I have to be Oh. Yeah. There was a lady just sitting between two, two tombs. 
there was a cat lounging behind her flowers scattered on the tombs and I speak like the most tiniest bit of Hindi. And the, the only thing I could understand from this lady, she kept saying, Meri basunu, meri basunu, which means listen to me, listen to me. And I, I couldn't understand anything she said after that, but I just liked the idea that she was trying to tell me some secret occult wisdom or something. Just asking for change. Probably. Yeah, she was probably just asking for money. But she had like no teeth and like a ragged type of hood, sort of like <clears throat> like what I'm wearing wearing now, but it had like holes in it. And it was I would, like mis- singing along to that guy. Yeah, or? there was another. They were yeah. playing music, such happy music. We went back and you're like to the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll meet you. At the yeah. Front. Oh god, I was so I was so oblivious. They were like, what they say? Oh, the we, imagine them. <laughs> we want to water by themselves through were, that whole thing. They were like, we want to water. I was like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out here for a second. Let's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, listen yeah. to this guy sing, and then I'll meet you guys at the top. And Clara was like, I don't think it's safe for us to be alone. And that's when I was like, oh, I didn't. I, didn't, I had no idea you guys even felt unsafe. And they're like, yeah, they're like spitting on us and stuff. And I was like, oh shit. And the, the kids were cool though. Yeah, the kids were cool. The kids accepted us with love. And so, yeah, we went back. And, and I then thought, we, yeah, so then we came back. We, went, we actually went back to hell. And we all freaked it's... out. Everyone freaked out, got mad at me. Like, why would you take me there without <laughs> explaining it? And then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, after getting mad, they were like, oh, let's go back tomorrow. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly.